Every day we engage in activities that are kind of routine. Those routines are designed to get us to where we're trying to get to. But a routine can become a rut. And a rut, if you've ever heard the definition, is a grave with the ends knocked out. <laughs> we want to be in the groove. We don't want to get into a rut. So I want to suggest that this year, see what you can do to elevate what you're doing to make it a sacred act that you're engaging in. You see, mundane activities, when we see the sacred nature of it, actually become a recognition of a great fullness that's given to us. The breath that we breathe is a gift. The heartbeat that's within us, it's a gift. This life is miraculous. Think of all the people who have sacrificed that you can enjoy the life that you now live. When you take a moment just to pause to acknowledge that, everything shifts. You are energizing every activity of your day. For example, I mean, it makes sense. Many people will pause at the beginning of the meal to say a grace or give a blessing. And if you think about it, that blessing is actually an energetic communication. So when the food arrives, as you bless the food, you're blessing it that it communicates to the cells of your body the nourishment that you brought it here for. You can bless the hands of every person that brought it to the table, that prepared it and that served it. And whether you have a religious faith or not isn't important. It's about the communication that you're making. And that communication is a vibration that enlivens your life and it also projects out into the world to make the world a better place. So I invite that you find what I would call sacred space or sacred times in your life to elevate those mundane activities into something that's more significant, something that you recognize as a real gift today. In my daily routine, I turn to get out of bed and I place my feet on the floor and I pause there. I say a bit of a prayer of the great fullness that I'm enjoying. I look around me and see everything that's there and recognize it as a gift. I have a morning ritual that also includes sitting for a meditative practice. And at the end of that meditation, I send a prayer out to everyone who's ever heard my voice Ready, read any of my words or know of any component of my work. And I use that as a connection to connect to you, for example, that you might recognize the great fullness of the gifts that you have to deliver to this world right now. I invite you that today, find a time when you can pause to elevate the mundane to the sacred and have a space perhaps that you can return to on an ongoing basis just to drop in to that sense of the great fullness that's given you. That's all for now. I'll see you next time.